Today I'm going to show y'all how to heat press the nine panel throws the correct way. Set the heat press at 400 for 60 seconds and that's what you're going to do for each panel. Got to get it under here the right way. Easier to do sideways. Okay, now make sure you already have all of your photos cut out and ready to go. You're going to be pressing each photo for 60 seconds. You want to make sure that you have it to where it bleeds a little so that it covers up the parts that are whiter. Well, it's not white, but like a gray color. Then we're going to press. Make sure your press is a at medium and just let that go for 60 seconds. And you're gonna work with the middle first, that way you work your way around, makes it easier. You don't double press any other photos because it will actually mess up. The easiest route for me is whether I'm working my way straight down the middle, or you can even work your way from the middle to the next panel, to the side of it, and then go back up. It's, it's basically all up to you. Got 20 more seconds left on this one. First one done. Shows up perfect. Now, as I said, I like to work my way down so that I don't damage the next photo. So now I'll be working on the middle one on the side. Slide it through just enough to where it's not touching that photo. Get your next picture. Be sure everything is lined up right. lined up correctly sometimes they do move okay that one's lined up right go ahead and you start that press for another minute for this side. Okay, that one's done. Now, you're gonna turn it around to get to the other side in the middle. And 
as I said, you don't want to repress on the same photo. So, get that there, bring it down. Make sure your papers are at least, printed out at least to 16 by 2.5 by 9.5 because you want to have that extra bleed coming through here so that the full photo is covered up. So the full panel is covered up, I'm sorry. Because if not, you'll have, all, you'll have this showing and you don't want that. Now don't get me wrong, sometimes it's okay because some pictures actually are safe enough to do that to where it will show still. Well, even if it shows, it doesn't affect it. Okay. Some people tape the pictures down. Me, honestly, I just check it as I go. Because honestly, the tape doesn't stick too well to this material. So, and for those that are wanting to order right now, these are actually on sale on my website, which will be posted in the link. The link will be posted below. They're on sale for $40 off until tomorrow, Friday, which is March 8th. After that, they will go back up to the normal price of $120. So let this heat press go for the next minute and come back. Okay, and there's the next photo, all set. Now, best way to do this for the next panels, as I said, work from the middle and out to the ends. Don't ever do the ends first. That's the last part you want to work on. So you get that up here. Make sure the photo is not being, the ones with the photos are not touching where it's going to get pressed at. Because you will have some type of damage to the photo. Like it'll lighten it up or it'll discolor it some kind of way. Now. Put your photo down. And as I said, some of these photos, you want to always do nine and a half because you don't want that to be showing how this is doing right here. Depending on the picture, it's okay. Make sure everything's lined up correctly. Everything is lined up good. You press for another 60 seconds. Three seconds left. As you can see, how that turned out. Up. Line that up there. Be careful because 
This area is actually really hot. So hold that there. Make sure this side is lined up. That's lined up. And recheck this side before we get to pressing. See, always recheck, especially if you're not using heat tape. I wouldn't recommend if you're just starting because it took me a while to get there. That's lined up and ready to go. There we go. On to the next corner. Make sure it's matching up and everything's at the right side. So you don't accidentally press one with the blanket upside down. Okay, now that's lined up. I add your Teflon sheet and check it as I always do. That's set and ready to go. set and ready to go. We're going to press that for a minute. As you can see how the photos come out. All the photos come out really good. Okay, five more seconds left. So this panel is done. Teflon sheet back off, and there's the next photo. Now, onto the bottom of it, and we'll be going back to the middle. Start at the middle first, work your way back. Sure, that's lined up right. Okay, once again, cover with your Teflon sheet. Like I said, this material is really hot. Everything is lined up. You may get that white border if the picture isn't big enough. It's supposed to be nine, nine inches by 16 inches, but like I said, you wanna make sure you print it out to where it bleeds some so that it'll pass the white border. Some panels, 9.25 is good, some panels, I'm noticing you want to go by 9.5 by 6.25 or even 6. I'm sorry, 16.25 or even 16 and a half by 9 and a half. You can do them in landscape mode, you can do them in portrait mode. And they're like I said they're also available until Friday, which is March 8th at 11:59 p.m. They will go back to the $120 price. These throws are 50, 51, 55, no, 51.5 by 33.5. So it's a nice size. They're great for Mother's Day gifts, baby shower gifts, birthday gifts. As a memorial, it's all up to you. Okay, 
how that one's done. I'm going to go on to the last. Or the last two, I'm sorry. Any items that you purchase from me will ship in two days. Well, once I once they're completed, they will ship to you and you will have in your hand within two days. Well, depending on the delivery. Some places take three, I'm sorry. And if you're in the Chicagoland area and you purchase from me, you will get your items the next day once they're shipped out. Some items I can have done same day and ship the next. Some items take at least two or three days. It just depends on how busy I am with orders. So for holiday orders, I always tell everybody order early because it's just me doing all the work and it gets strenuous or stressful, but I love it. So with that being said, if you want one of these, tomorrow's the last day. You're basically getting $40 off. I also have a sale going 15% off in honor of Judy's spotlight that she has every Wednesday on Instagram. You can also follow my Instagram page. I also have pictures of every item, every item I do. Even if it's not on the website, you can contact me through Instagram, which my link will be in the bottom description. Um, the 15% 15, 15 off sale ends tonight. That does not include the blankets, but it does include anything that's not on sale. And if you see items on my Instagram page that are not on my website, just contact me through the DM and we can get something set up or I can add it to the website so that you can purchase. Um, also, the pillows I have, those are still in stock. I have 10, 10 different colors. You probably see my pillows on Black Ink Crew, if you're a big fan of Judy and Supa, you've seen my work with them as well. So, whatever you order, trust me, you won't be. You will. You will not be upset about anything that you get from me. Anything you get from me, trust me, you'll love it. I put my time and effort into every item I sell. I don't just rush through an order. I make sure it's done right. Because when it goes out that door, that's my name on it. And this is our last panel. So, I'm going to get this one going. And then come back and we'll show you the finished product. And there you have finished product. Why did somebody else? I just fell too hard. I fell so hard that I got a grade. There you go. Finished product. I fell so hard I got a grade. 